Hey everybody, it's the 8-Bit Gamer, giving you another update on the progress of my game using the NES Maker. Um, so, I'm just going to do a little brief recap. I got a lot to go over in this video. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to make some pretty big changes, and uh, I wanted to make sure to document it because I'm going to be changing things that I never thought I would change and it's going to be very good um so for starters this is my desert town as you can see it still has the old trees in my last video we changed to palm trees and i'll just kind of show you what i did there so these are my palm trees um but i made some other changes in my desert area um i added some new assets and an asset is anything like a rock, a tree, anything that's drawn becomes an asset. These are my assets over here. And I'll be using that term a lot today. Um, but I made some sand dunes. And as you can see, they totally changed the look of this desert area compared to this. This is very busy. I'm not really, you know, wasn't very happy with the way it looked. I have some of these this is supposed to be like grass, but I'm, I'm changing those to bushes. And I'll go through and put in the sand dunes in here and make it look better. But as you can see, the, uh, the dunes turned out really good. They make it look a lot better. And I did that through most all of the desert area. But that is not what this video is going to be about. I've got some other things I'm going to change here. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you here quick. Um, if you guys remember, you know, here is my first area. And it's also, it kind of seems a little busy. Um, and I want to kind of, I'm going to do some big changes with how my trees are laid out today. Um, so I'm going to kind of show you what I'm looking at here. So when you come here, you kind of see I just have a bunch of individual trees. Well, I want to make them all look like a forest rather than a group of individual trees so i made a little test run here of a forest um and i had to make quite a few i had to make i think 15 assets in order to make all this um but right now everything that i've drawn is in tile set 11 and i need to move my drawings into the tile sets that I use for my first world. So that'd be my graveyard overworld tile set. So I'm gonna get going on that. I'll go into my pixel editor. And so this is the this is tile set 11. I was just kind of using it as a as a uh, practice run. And so I'm gonna do some uh, copy and pasting here. Okay, now I have to load my graveyard. And as you see, I got these tiles here, which originally were going to be bushes, and ultimately I just I did not use them. So I'm going to use them for the forest. Make sure I save. I gotta go back and get a few other tiles here. I gotta get these tree roots. Paste that in. Save. Go back. that in okay now I'm just about done but I also did a little update on my trees I added a little bit of shadowing on the bottom here and so I'm gonna copy and paste that as well which is just right here Oh, 
Okay. So, now it's all there. And now I have to work on creating assets. So my drawings are there. Now I just have to build them. So, we're now in Graphic Banks 1. Go into Assets. I'll just click on Assets. And all right, so here we go. Um, and I'm just going to make rows. And I'm going to start with my tree root. So I just got to click and click. Okay, and I'm going to call that tree roots. And I'm going to make sure these are solid. That means you can't walk through them. I'm going to save new. Okay. Now I'm going to make my second row. I'm going to call it second row. I'm going to save new. I'm going to make my third row. Actually, I want this to be second row, and we'll call it third row. Okay, and it's solid. All right, save new. And then I'm also going to make a top row is really just going to be the top of my tree. Call it top row. Okay, now I also need to make a basically a left side of my tree and a right side of my tree. I'm going to change my width, my height. Everything needs to be solid. I'm going to call that left tree. Right tree. Okay. That should be just about everything I need to get started. We're going to make a few more um, for our, let's see here. We're going to do. We're going to do another set, but this time I'm going to use a different color palette. So that way I can put in different trees with different shades. So we're basically going to make another second row. But this time we're going to use this palette. And that'll change the color. I'm going to call it second row LT for light. Make sure everything's solid. Okay. Now let's do let's do third row. Third row light. And then we'll do top row light. Okay, and then down here, 
I'm going to make a basically second row we'll call this second row right light and we'll do a second row left light Okay, that should be everything. Okay. I'm going to go back. I want to double check my pixel editor here. Okay, it looks right. Let's get started. So let's see here. We can do some crazy things now. So this is my first screen. Um, you can see, let's, let's change this top because now we've got a little more depth. So that makes it look a lot better, doesn't it? Okay, and then we can go into our second row. And then if we want to maybe make that tree light, I have that. And my plan is to just go around and really start making some big decisions here. Some trees are just going to have to go. As you can see, I can just go and all of a sudden I'm starting to get a rather nice looking forest going on here. Okay, let's go back. So that already looks better. And once I go around, and I'm going to do that around all the edges, anywhere I want to do a forest. I'll zoom in here so you can kind of see it closer. But I'm going to do that on 15, 25, no, it's 25 screens. I'm going to be changing all my edges on. And I just wanted to uh, document it because this is how my forest has looked for almost two years. And so this is going to be quite a bit of a change. And a little, uh, I, wanted to, uh, I wanted to see a before and after for myself. Um, so we can just kind of scroll through what it looks like now, and then hopefully I can do a after video once I'm all done. But as you can see, it's all just a lot of single trees right now. And it makes it look very busy. And I think once this forest is done, it's going to have a much better, much better look to it.
So I got a lot of work ahead of me. I also think I'm going to give him a hut. Make a little building for him to live in. Then I can show you how I can highlight some things as well. So like if I want this tree to be light, maybe that tree to be light. Maybe I want these trees to be light. You know, I can, I can make that happen. So I'll be busy. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later.